listen I've shared with you my story when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me he stretched his hand towards me and light at his brilliance that light and it didn't it didn't shine on me it entered me when that light entered me how I survived and did not die is a question I will ask him when we go to heaven because no man can receive that kind of light and still survive as I began to study on light through the years I would learn that the light of God is the basis of his illumination remember sight is the eyes plus light sight is not because you have eyes if you enter a dark room even if your eyes are correct you would not see because it takes a union of an eye and light to equal sight so light entered me but then I also read from Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4 amplified it says and in that sun like splendor is the hiding place of his power that the power of God hides in his light when you buy a perfume or you buy whatever product they don't give you the products that you bought alone usually it will come in a container am I am I right on that or a carton or some packaging you don't really need the packaging per se the beauty and everything sometimes you can buy perfumes that are so small but then the whole packaging can look like you are carrying a, 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 a maybe an AC or something and you keep opening layer to layer and there you find the small thing is when you apply it you will know the value of that small thing as small as it is am i right on that so when the word of god comes contained within it is his wisdom contained within it is his favor but contained within it is his power so what he was doing to me jesus was not just working on my mind and my spirit it was an infusion of spiritual power that it is from the abundance of that which we receive that we speak over people over cities and nations and literally shift the spiritual climate of men systems and structures no man can do this it's not just about speaking I'm saying this so that as I speak over your life you truly believe with your heart you can stand and spectate and yet nothing happens to you but your heart can be open the Bible says blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord we have not come just by ourselves we were sent and they said when I sent you lackest thou anything he equips when he sends are you ready to receive in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the one who has raised men and the one who has anointed men I speak over your life and I speak over your destiny every affliction that has brought you tears that has brought you shame that has brought you pain in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare that affliction comes to an end now 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 He said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore I've come as a voice of restoration and in the name of Jesus I prophesy to someone between now and the end of June I stand by the God who has raised men the one who has given the grace to appoint unto men in the name of Jesus between now and the end of June return with strange testimonies return with strange testimonies I program strange testimonies around your life in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to everyone in ministry here I don't know what has brought you down I don't know what is the area of struggle but I prophesy to you rise to the place of prophecy rise to the place of destiny rise to the place of prophecy rise to the place of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ you may be here and your affliction has to do with losses and pains. you lost money 
you lost things you lost relationships you lost opportunities in the name of jesus like samuel prophesied to saul i decree and declare may that missing donkey whatever it is i command it to return back to your life i command it to return back to your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare you see look at me when it has to do with the world of men the way you pray over men is different from the way you pray over things because things were not given dominion so you can command them but when it has to do with men you can't command men per se because god honors their will are we together but there is a name god is called the father of spirits have you heard of that name before the father of spirits means every spirit can be summoned by him the body is a slave to the spirit even those who practice witchcraft know this when they summon people they don't summon their bodies your body can remain in the room there and they can summon your spirit and manipulate it and return it back to the body and you wake up a victim of what has happened in the spirit there is a name god is called the father your boss is a spirit you know that your business is first a spirit ah, yes sir james said in chapter 2 and 26 a body without a spirit is dead situations are alive because they have spirits connected to them if you separate that situation from the spirit the situation will die because it becomes a body without a spirit are we together I'm saying this because of the prayer I want to pray for you. I may not have the power to command a human being to come to violate their will, but I can say, like Michael said, the Lord rebuke you. So I can call on the God who is the father of spirits and cause him to summon the spirit of your destiny helper and insist that they find no rest till they bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, and insist that they arise by the spirit and partner with prophecy over your life i decree this in the name of jesus christ the father of spirits watch him in action when he woke ahasuerus from sleep the bible says that night could not ahasuerus sleep because the father of spirits needed mordecai to be blessed watch the father of spirits move and he granted a dream to pharaoh and pharaoh was troubled by that dream and he could not sleep until joseph came to land light until daniel came to lamb light when god moves as the father of spirits men never rest until men are blessed hmm. i'm praying it again i don't know who has been ordained by god Parakos to be stationed around your life and your destiny but in the name of jesus christ i call on my god who is also your god from now to the end of june may the father of spirits summon every destiny helper in the name of jesus christ and every negative spirit that has been attached to situations prolonging them there are situations that are no more natural when listen listen when spirits participate with bodies they create longevity to whatever process there is that means men can bless you based on the law of time and chance but when the spirit of favor comes upon you there is longevity to that blessing it does not stop are we together the same way watch this the same way somebody you can get a slight headache just as because of a wear and tear of your activity but when a spirit partners with that condition it will now have longevity the assignment of spirits is to sustain processes to bring they are the longevity factors anything you see staying unnecessarily long is already an indication that there is a spirit component that disfavor has stayed too long there is a spirit component are we together now that business issue that can be solved in one day has taken three four years there is a spirit that one 
is within the office of the believer to deal with let me speak over you that every unclean spirit like the bible calls it a spirit that is not of the christ that has attached itself to any situation around your life manipulating it and creating pain i separate you from that spirit now i separate you from that spirit now i separate you from that spirit now and i decree and declare let the blessing speak on your life let the blessing speak on your finances let the blessing speak over your family let the blessing speak over your ministry let the blessing speak go and prosper in the name of jesus rise and scale heights in destiny in the name of jesus i speak life to your prayer life life to your word study life in the name of jesus christ no one under the sound of my voice will die prematurely i say it again no one under the sound of my voice will die prematurely in the name of jesus christ and for one last time let me speak favor over you for god's sake let your heart be open to receive in the name of jesus i prophesy this grace that is called favor let it rest on your life let it produce extraordinary results men rise into your help men rise into your rescue god using men to roll away shame to roll away reproach in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Jesus. He said, He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Listen, say after me in the name of Jesus. I speak to spirits, I speak to covenants, I speak to altars holding my life holding my destiny by the covenant of the blood release my destiny now lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every physical reality reoccurring in my life that I do not like. Whatever programmed you in the realm of the spirit, I cancel that programming now. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit of Apocalypse responsible for unfavorable outcomes in my blood. Wickedness. I break you. I stop your function. tell you fire is burning in this place say in the name of Jesus I declare that any element of the supernatural that has been hijacked by darkness and is being manipulated against my destiny I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I destroy you now lift your voice and pray Shopaka, ta 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 ta
minister to you i tell you if i if god shows you what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and the way doors are opening up when you force it it will open help those under the anointing you see people getting their deliverances strange miracles being released hallelujah say in the name of jesus any spiritual and human agent who is in partnership with any spiritual law to fight me this night I release judgment on you lift your voice and pray I command judgment I command judgment I command judgment I perform judgment I command judgment I inform judgment upon anyone in sexuality with the powers of the heaven to walk against my life I perform judgment may the God of vengeance arise tonight in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus all earth hear the word of the Lord all winds hear the word of the Lord I decree I declare to every element of the supernatural bring my breakthrough bring my blessings bring my favor lift your voice and begin to pray i speak to the earth the prophet said for out of it comes bread i perform my portion i perform my portion Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I speak to my helpers. Hear what I'm saying and pray it with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I speak to my helpers. Every law stopping you from coming to my help i release you now manifesting my destiny lift your voice and pray i release you every helper over koinonia every helper over my destiny every helper over your destiny
Let's pray one last prayer point. And then I'll begin to prophesy over your life. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants. Associated with my family. Every altar. Associated. With the pain. Of my family. Tonight. As an ambassador. I stand. On behalf of my loved ones. And I cancel those ordinances. Lift your voice. Cancel it. Ordinances of death. Ordinances of bad luck. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, raise your hand. Just raise your hand and be, as, and be silent. Just a keyboard. Please raise your hand if you can. Just be silent. Seeing the angels of the Lord, just move. I command right now, stretching my hands. I'm seeing many padlocks in the realm of the spirit. All padlocks, all padlocks, and I'm about to speak to them now. That somebody's destiny being opened now in the name of Jesus. Everyone here. Who is represented in the vision that I've seen? Let your destiny open now. I command deliverance. Deliverance to your destiny. I open it. I open it. I open it now. I open it now. Inside, outside, online, I open it now. The yoke of bad luck, repeated cycles of misfortune over anyone here. You may not know it, hear me. But if there is anyone carrying a negative yoke that is commanding everything around you to be negative I see fire coming on a few people it's a massive deliverance that will happen now at the count of three may the fire from the throne room locate such a one and burn off those shafts right now one two Three, right now, right now, right now, Sokoto Sabada. Inside, outside, the fire from the throne is falling on destinies. Falling on destinies. Bad luck, misfortune. Bad luck, misfortune. It must come to an end. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat this after me and then just be silent. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, visit negative patterns. Repeated patterns in my life now. Just keep quiet. Just keep quiet. That's the instruction. Just keep quiet. 
and watch what happens now thank you jesus everywhere lord inside and outside break patterns break patterns break patterns break patterns repeated patterns repeated patterns my god my god i i see i see i know this is the vengeance of god patterns you may not know but you are under an atmosphere and an unction that is about to change your life break patterns break patterns oh god hallelujah god wants to use you the lord wants to deliver fathers not mothers fathers but he wants to use you here the lord is showing me there are at least between 31 to 41 people fathers right now with negative things on their head god is going to use you as a point of contact lord let your power move to those ones 41 i place that word in the realm of the spirit now in the name of jesus i place that word in the name of jesus if it comes upon you there's something in your family if it once it comes on you just know there's something in your family if you have never known it know it now if that fire lands on your head there is something in your family that is giving way no you can't escape it except it's not on your parents if it is on them it must be visited now the vengeance of the god of israel inside outside inside outside that sword of vengeance There is a sister here. The fire of restoration is landing on you now. There is a sister is coming from heaven. Strong restoration of your spiritual life. Strong restoration of the operation of favor in your life. Whatever happened to it is over. It's coming afresh now. Coming afresh now coming afresh now every negative voice that speaks to your spirit and misleads you making you believe it is the spirit of God I challenge right now every antichrist voice masquerading as the voice of the spirit giving you instructions every negative voice masquerading as the holy ghost speaking to you giving you instructions that are activating wrong laws in your life i command judgment on those spirits now hallelujah just be patient with me we're rounding up I, I tell you the liberty the liberty that I see in the realm of the spirit even me I'm satisfied I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing satisfied with what I'm seeing very very strange breakthroughs what is left for you now is to await the physical manifestation remember i told you he's always in the realm of the spirit you just thought you fell no keep watching you will soon see dimensions of breakthrough that even you you will not be able to account for some of you will start make sure you testify many of you from tomorrow you will hear your loved ones even things they didn't discuss with you they don't know what happened but you know what happened to them I prophesy over your life carry favor carry favor from the realm of the spirit let there be a release of favor 
passing through the hands of men into your life in the name of Jesus hear me I've not prayed for students writing exams people have been sending me text messages I'm not happy with let's change some things now every mistake you have made in your exams that is reflective of your humanity that is reflective of your carelessness from the realm of the spirit we correct it now from the realm of the spirit we correct it now two words came to me as i was just thinking and meditating over the prayers and the prophetic blessings that you receive number one is fear the bible says in second timothy 1 verse 7 let me just rebuke the spirit of fear that god hath not given us the spirit of fear there's a lot happening in our world today and some of us are already victims of fear financial fear fear of your life fear as a result of all kinds of medical reports but this is the house of god therefore i decree and declare over every one of you here those connecting online that in the name of jesus christ the spirit of fear loses its hold over your life now the spirit of fear loses its hold over your life now i cleanse your mind from the influence of fear in the name of jesus christ deuteronomy chapter 20 please from verse 1 it says when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seeth horses chariots and a people more than thou he says be not afraid of them for the lord thy god is with thee which brought thee out of the land of egypt verse 2 and it shall be when you are come nigh unto the battle that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people verse 3 and it shall say and it shall say unto them here o israel ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies it says let not your hearts faint fear not and do not tremble neither be terrified because of them why for for the lord your god is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies and to save you therefore i decree and declare everything that has overwhelmed you maybe bills maybe a negative report the situation you have found yourself and we found ourselves as a nation the reality of the times in the name of jesus i remind you again and prophetically speak to you that god has gone ahead of you that god has gone ahead of you in the name of jesus christ god has gone ahead of you deuteronomy 27 and verse 14 this was a prophetic word that came to my spirit for someone deuteronomy 27 and verse 14 hallelujah it says and the levite shall speak and say unto the men of israel with a loud voice uh-huh cause be the man that maketh any graven or molten image an abomination unto the lord the work of the hands of craftsman and put it in a secret and all the people shall answer amen please listen this is a word for someone you are about to compromise and double into all kinds of satanic things because it looks like serving god does not pay and people are already introducing things bring this charm to your house add this one after all it's just a spiritual thing the bible says when you make anything that is not of god and put it in the secret in hope that it will help you the jealousy of god itself will fight therefore i decree and declare every temptation towards compromise to bring any other idol and to bring any other extra biblical practice because you are looking for help i declare in the name of jesus you overcome that temptation now you overcome that temptation now you overcome that temptation now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord in philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 paul spoke over the macedonian church and he says but my god shall supply how many all your needs 
according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus let me speak that over your life this week in the name of Jesus my God may he supply all your needs my God may he supply all your needs my God may he supply all your needs in the name of Jesus Christ I heard a very humbling testimony that was sent to me I think it's a woman I don't know if she's here but sent me a testimony they were crying already owing and whilst they were just praying and meditating that she was led or so to go out to a shop and she was looking gloomy and she just stumbled across someone who had known her for a long time who she had helped as a primary school teacher he had now become a real estate person he saw her identified her greeted her and called her gave her a house immediately listen let me speak over your life again make sure you believe what i'm saying may my god supply all your needs may my god supply all your needs may my god supply all your needs for someone may my god surprise you in the name of jesus christ genesis chapter 26 from verse 12 this may be an instruction for someone the bible says and isaac sowed in that land money is not the only thing you sow you can sow yourself dig yourself into knowledge bury yourself and isaac sowed in that land but for someone it can be a prophetic instruction listen let me tell you i know that people have made all kinds of abuses about finances but can i tell you sacrificial giving is a mysterious principle even in the times of hardship i'm not telling you things that i i that i just read about this is my life that in the time of famine he sowed in that land and received so was received so was received a hundredfold and the lord blessed him verse 13 the bible says the man works great in famine he went forward he grew until he became very great the famine notwithstanding i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ in this season while others are saying there is a casting down let me release a word over someone rise to a new level rise to a new level rise to a new level in the name of jesus christ every time i have the opportunity to speak over your life i must speak favor i wish i have the time to give you personal testimonies last week to this week god did something in my life that almost left me in tears and i said god i know you as a mighty god but you never stop bringing surprises to men this is something look let me tell you when god decides to place his grace upon your life your life becomes an unending wonder i want to pray from the depth of my heart this is my assignment i'm not preaching mine is for you to receive if you like you can look around and be doubting if you like you can open your heart sincerely and receive and allow god to change your life i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ may the mantle the unction the anointing that distinguishes you and compels men to come and bless you i release that grace upon you now receive that grace now receive that grace now upon your head receive it now upon your hands receive it now upon your feet receive it now one more time upon your head receive it now upon your hands receive it now upon your feet receive it now i say it again upon your head receive it now upon your hands receive it now and upon your feet receive it now in the name of jesus christ listen the grace upon your head is for illumination and understanding the grace upon your hand is for productivity and the grace upon your feet is for direction and speed now you understand what i'm releasing in the name of jesus upon your head let this grace rest upon you
upon your hands may this grace rest upon you upon your feet let this grace rest upon you koinonia i declare one more time upon your head may this grace rest upon you extraordinary illumination by the spirit upon your hands may this grace rest upon you and upon your feet receive speed and direction in the name of jesus christ it says and i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your adversary will not be able to gainsay nor resist i place something upon you that from today as you speak in the name of jesus those who have what it takes to bless you may they hear you as you speak those who have what it takes to help you may they hear you two more prayers two more prayers Kalish Paru Kaduskiye Paru Dashala Toskabi Embragadoja Lakosa Bragadi Hallelujah In Acts chapter 27 and verse 22 They were with Paul going to a place called Crete And there was a storm And the Bible says as a result of that storm They lost their properties The ship was about to capsize and they were about to lose their lives and paul stood up and said and now i exhort you be of good cheer for there shall be no loss this just came into my spirit now i want to speak to someone from the way things look right now it looks like you have lost money it looks like you have lost your place you have lost the job but i stand under this apostolic and prophetic mandate and i declare there shall be no loss koinonia global there shall be no loss not of your life not of your properties not of strategic relationships there shall be no loss there shall be no loss in the name of jesus final declaration over your life and i want you to please listen carefully i will always make reference to john 5 the man who was crippled for 38 years he was there lying down when jesus came to him and said do you desire to be healed he said i have no man that was his problem you may have talent but do you have a man to help you you may have your gift but do you have a man every business needs a man every ministry needs a man there are people who are anointed but those to declare them to the nations they have not encountered them i love it every time i declare to call men because let me tell you men are very relevant when it has to do with your rising and your shining are we together no matter how graced and gifted you are even if you are jesus alone without a man will only leave you in pain and tragedy therefore i decree and declare the strategic men some of you have a lot of men in your life but none of them is strategic enough for your destiny quality strategic men i bring them to your life now quality strategic men i bring them to your life now quality strategic helpers financiers announcers i bring them to your life now hallelujah any major decision you are about to take in life especially your health i want you to think about all those who are connected to you what will happen now if i die some of you for instance you came from non-christian families and you are the only christian who is holding the banner of the gospel while waiting for the younger ones to grow if you are careless with your life and you pass on now what becomes of them when you are thoughtful you will not be careless with your life and your body what happens to you now if you pass on leaving three or four children who are barely in primary school 
it was not an attack that killed you just carelessness with your health let me tell you this my deliverance over this issue of health came i've shared it with you at the end of the year when i'm doing my personal retreat i gauge my progress against many indices my spiritual growth mental transformation health and wellness relationships finances purpose and all of that and for three years consecutively i found out that the worst performing area in my life was my health for very justifiable reasons i could travel for a meeting return back in the night return back i had to make up my mind to say mr man if you die and you kill yourself let it be known to you that you killed yourself because i know that god loves me sincerely he has invested his love and his jealousy upon my life and i made up my mind i said no more even if it is one step at a time i will begin to correct it this is a prophetic word for someone right now and for somebody the truth is you have the means god has helped you it's time to be serious he that walks with the wise shall be wise you are in a house where there's smoke, carbon monoxide all the time. And you are just inhaling this with your children. You have the money to move to a better place. Please get out of that place for the sake of the safety of your children. You are in a room. There is a jerry can of kerosene. There is a jerry can of petrol next to your bed. Your nose is directly touching the, the petrol while you are sleeping. And you have 5 million naira, 10 million naira in your account. When you die, what is going to happen to the money? We we need to learn to be wise i've told you the purpose of resources is for efficiency and time redemption don't pile millions and billions in your account and be cutting short your days because of selfishness greed you have a car of 20 30 million lying down in your house and you cannot put hundred thousand naira to invest in your health it is not wise I'm sorry if I'm harsh. We're wrapping up, but I need to say this. I rather have a car of one million naira packed and have a body of one billion naira health wise. It was a wise bargain. You can't be having cars and houses, estates and mansions, and then to invest in your health is a problem. There are many people who cannot spend 20,000 naira. They can go to a restaurant, a priority restaurant, and spend 500,000 in a moment. Just proving a point, but for their health. It is often said that health is wealth. A dying man has the desire to get his health back, not his businesses back, not the estates back. One of the greatest contributions you can make in a life, let me tell you, is helping them to know god and love god and helping them to live healthy as much as possible when you are buying birthday gifts for people try it concentrate on their health don't buy things you know they will not use hallelujah You see someone whose whose leg is, is tiny like this, you buy you go and waste your money and buy a shoe of over one million size forty five. That person is not even going to use it. Are we together? You can get health products, you can invest fruits, veggies, you can even buy a book about living in health and give the person. You have invested in that person's life. I made up my mind that in the name of Jesus, I will be healthy. It's a, it's a determination. I will be healthy. I will be healthy. Because there is a lot to do for the kingdom. And I know how I stretch myself by reason of the work that I do. Most people see me and say, Apostle, do you rest? I, I may not rest every day. But I've been able to squeeze out a system and at least it's working. Hallelujah. So when you try to call, maybe in the middle of the night, and you say, Apostle, you told us you, you'll be there for us. Remember, I am resting. Remember, I am resting. Because believers have a way of blackmailing you spiritually. They just come up with all kinds of emotions and say, Remember, you said, I said I will be there for you. Jesus, who said you'll be there for you? Why didn't you quarrel here? He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you.
Hallelujah. Don't worry, I'll be there for you as much as possible. But when I'm when I'm resting, I'm resting. It's as simple and honest as that. Gone are the days where people shout and say you are this and start sending you scriptures and say, listen, the Bible says a shepherd that cannot just delete it and rest, please. Allow people to you know you should you should be secured enough to not be bullied by all those those childish things. You see, when you walk yourself and stretch yourself and don't rest and you die, let me tell you what people will say. Hey yeah. And that's the end of it. I made this mistake when we started newly. I would walk myself and not rest. My deliverance came when I went to a Catholic cathedral. I saw a crucifix. And it occurred to me that I didn't die for any man. Now, I love people. Don't get me wrong. But it was not my face that was on that crucifix. So I will be there for everybody as much as I can. There are pastors and leaders who have thrown their families in disarray, thrown their health in disarray, thrown their finances in disarray, all in a bid to serve people who will largely not be grateful. Love people, but don't be a fool. In the name of Jesus. So seven keys I have given you. Let's do a recap and then we pray and I speak over your life. Number one, God's desire and plan. Listen carefully. That God's desire and plan for all of us is to walk in health, vitality, and longevity. I have a whole series on the healing ministry. That's for next year. Hallelujah. And number two, that the Bible clearly says that our lives can be cut short. If we do not comply with the scriptural conditions that make for longevity. The Bible shows us that a man's life can be extended, prolonged, and a man's life can be cut short. Number three, we said that the Bible reveals that in many regards, God is not responsible for the premature departure of the saints. Number four, we said how that Satan is that thief. That comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And that primarily, the two or three tools that through history, we have seen that have been his most effective tools in destroying people. One, accidents. Two, sicknesses and diseases. And then number three, spiritual issues. Issues that relate to dreams and all kinds of oppressions. I now began to give you a few keys seven of them number one we said you must submit to jesus who is the resurrection and the life number two we said you must have the fear of the lord that the fear of the lord has longevity connected to it number three your words scripture based confessions that you must learn to speak words of life words of faith number four honor to parents Honor generally, honor carries within it life. Honor to parents, both spiritual and physical. Number five, we said engaging the mystery of the communion. The mystery of the communion with understanding. When you engage the communion with understanding, it has within it longevity. Number six, we said you must master the art of spiritual warfare. Prayer and intercession. Warding of the arsenals of hell and establishing the victory that is in Christ over your life, over your body. And then number seven, we said walking in wisdom. Wisdom as it is pertains your living. Wisdom as it pertains relationships. Wisdom as it pertains the matters of health. And most importantly, wisdom as far as feeding your food, nutrition, your vitality is concerned. These are irrefutable keys, ladies and gentlemen. Irrefutable keys. Irrefutable keys. Hallelujah. And of course, to cap up everything, 
the power of prophetic speakings and declarations over your life. Hallelujah. He said, I've been commanded to bless. I have blessed and it can, they cannot be cursed. So the power of the blessing, prophetic decrees over your life. It is very powerful. I am a product of the blessing of many people. Almost every elderly person I have seen, when I see elderly people that truly have been able to demonstrate health and longevity, when I meet them very quickly, I'm looking for a way to connect. In the name of Jesus, Daddy, sir, can you speak over my life? I remember our father, Bishop Onubogo. I don't know how many times I've told him, I said, from the depth, the bowels of your spirit, 84 years, only gone to the hospital once. In 84 years, with his wife, 74 years, both strong and alive. Ah! I speak life, you're gonna leave, oh my brother. My sister, I speak like you are the head and not the tail. You will prevail. I speak like, help me. Don't give up the fight for your life. You will live another life. That if Christ tarries at 84 years, Surrounded with your children and your grandchildren, you have secured the covenant of life. That nations will come to you to say, teach us the ways of the Lord. What did you find that has kept you in the midst of the arrows that fly by day? The noisome pestilences, the destruction that wastes in noonday. You have been able to have access to this mystery and you will tell them this is it. If you are from a family that has suffered untimely death, this is your chance. If you are from a family where maybe things you have been threatened, you do not even know who is next now. Because it looks like death just comes to pick people like an eagle coming to pick something on land. You can be that voice of deliverance by reason of this teaching. I shall not die, he says, but live and declare I shall not die. You are a minister of life. A minister of life. A minister of life. I made up my mind that by the grace of God and as much as God grants me grace, that all who are connected to me by natural descent, that by the grace of God, they will have the honor of tasting long life. I engage every one of these keys. I believe it with my heart. I believe it. Jesus, the resurrection and the life. Now remember, let me tell you again before we pray. Challenging the spirit of death and contending for longevity is not out of fear. If you fear death, you are already defeated. You cannot live your life being afraid. God forbid. But if I transit right now, the only thing will be that I did not finish my assignment. But as far as victory is concerned, no. That one was secured a long time ago. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for us. He said, what shall separate us from the love of Christ? Is it famine? Is it death? I have come near this thing called death many times. And by his mercy and by his spirit, I have been preserved. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. The greater standpoint of victory is not the fear of death. The Bible says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. There are many who have transited in glory today. And I can tell you, Paul said, for, for me to live is Christ and to die is is gain. We are not afraid of death. Oh no, not at all. Not at all. That was already settled. When we came and told Jesus take everything, we meant it and we are glad. Hallelujah. But as far as this is concerned, if I were dead, you would not hear what you are hearing now. Paul said, I desire to go, but I found out to stay is expedient for you. 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray. I shall not die. Please rise up on your feet. Everyone stand, please. Everyone stand. Let's minimize movement. We are going to pray and then I make an altar call. Just one prayer point tonight. Father, I obtain grace. In the name of Jesus, obtain grace to walk in keeping with these keys that you have revealed. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. The untimely death that took my brother, my sister, my father, my mother, my relatives. The untimely death that keeps sweeping people across my territory. I decree and declare that I'm free from it. True knowledge shall the just be delivered. I decree and declare I have no covenant with death. I obtain grace. Someone is praying. Grace, grace, mention the various areas, the various keys you can remember and receive grace from heaven. A global family, are you praying? Make sure you are praying from your room, your office, wherever you are connecting from. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die. Not out of fear, but my longevity is important for my life, my family, the program of God. And for as long as my assignment remains, I reject death by the power of the Holy Spirit. I submit to the Lordship of Jesus, the resurrection and the life. I obtain grace to walk in the fear of the Lord, obeying his precepts and living by the truth of scripture. Someone pray. I decree and declare that from tonight, my words will only minister life and health and vitality. Pray. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? No covenant with death. No covenant with untimely death. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 118 and verse 17. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. I live. I shall not die. I live and declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die. I shall not die. In the name of Jesus. Not by accident. Not by sickness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer request for you. I want you to declare over your physical body. Prophesy longevity from your head to your toe. I want you to call your organs by name if you can. And begin to declare. In the name of Jesus. My blood is cleansed by the spirit. No killer disease around my blood. My system is sanitized. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The various organs and systems in your body. Prophesy. It will not deteriorate with age. For the Bible says they that be planted in the house of the Lord. That they will flourish in the courts of our God. That in old age they will be fat and flourishing. Pray. My eyes will not go dim. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke arthritis. I have strength and vitality. No cardiovascular diseases in the name of Jesus Christ. He keepeth his bones so that none is missing. I have a covenant of peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. My eyes are bright as the sun in the name of Jesus Christ. I have the hearing ear, the seeing eye. Strength to walk in the name of Jesus.
strength to walk. He empowers me with strength from heaven like hinds feet. My natural strength will not be abated in the name of Jesus. As my years, so shall my strength be. Perfect vitality in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please hear me. You know someone who is struggling with his or her health? Next week is our final miracle service for 2022. It's not the final service, but the final miracle service. We don't do miracle services in December, although all the services in December, by the grace of God, will take time to praise God, but I want to really take the time to minister to people. Please listen. I want to charge you and challenge you by the God of heaven. Everybody you know who is trusting God to touch their bodies, their minds, their finances, their work with God, I want you to draw them and tell them, come and experience the mighty hand of God. We are going to be taking time to really pray for the sick. Because of time constraints, sometimes I live and I really feel bad in my heart because I just feel that more could be done, particularly for people who are sick. Some of these people, there is no other solution. There is no other way if God does not help them. Hallelujah. So let me declare over your life. And I want you to believe. I have received myself the blessings and the grace of fathers and elders. You've heard about my encounter in the West and many of the fathers by the grace of God and by the privilege of his hand, almost all the major fathers of faith that are extended in age. I've had the honor of having them pray and among the many things I requested was grace for long life because this journey is still far. And you see, when people have something, they can give. Hallelujah. Some of you have the privilege of having parents that have lived long. Let me give you an advice. Package a gift. Don't go empty-handed, put in your hand in your pocket and say, Daddy, bless me. If I'm your father, I'll tell you, leave this place. You have not learned. When it was time for Isaac to bless Jacob and Esau, bless Esau, later would bless Jacob. He said, go and make me venison. I hope you know that where they got the food, Jacob's food was just at his backyard. So it was not an issue of luck. He said, go. It is a law. Go and package a seed. Package something that gives your parents joy or anybody you know that God has helped and trusted with long life and tell them in the name of Jesus, I believe in this grace and I pray that if you will, just speak a word over my life and you will be surprised you will be surprised hallelujah yes i have seen strength and vitality in old age i have seen people strong they can they can almost play football a man who can play football in his 80s there are young people right now 32 35 40 42 43 and it's almost as if they cannot they lift a bucket of water and they fall together with the bucket such as i have you see so these things you see is not just something you invented longevity that comes from scripture backed up by the heartfelt blessing of those that have spoken over us the times are evil ladies and gentlemen security can only do so much for you you need an immunity that is above and beyond this realm secured by the word of god secured by the immutability of his covenants and his counsel in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead because god has allowed us to teach this over the body of christ to reintroduce this grace for long life again over the body of christ i declare the fullness of your days fulfill it
the fullness of your days fulfill it every pattern you have seen that is now beginning to manifest in your life and you are afraid will i die am i also going to go like that by reason of tonight's teaching i cut you away from it forever the spirit of untimely death that is sweeping across africa across nigeria destroying brilliant minds bright potentials before their time i decree and declare you are covered supernaturally we are approaching the festive period and naturally people travel some by sea some by air some by land and then some by any other means people will travel within the country and across the globe i decree and declare no evil report shall be heard about you and let's agree right now for anyone connected to you who is currently in the hospital or struggling with any sickness or someone who came here for service let me stretch my hands over you before we wrap up every devil of sickness that followed you here it does not matter what name it is called in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now i command your blood to be cleansed now I pray for every doctor here and every doctor hearing me, every lab attendant, every paramedic. We empower you afresh as instruments of God's mercy. Receive supernatural wisdom and unction as you attend to patients. In the name of Jesus Christ. Under your watch, the patients will not die. In the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are connecting right now from various hospitals, clinics, various places of help, maybe rehabilitation centers. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, may the life and the power of Jesus surge through the television and touch them right now. In the name of Jesus. And not only are you a bona fide recipient of longevity, I release you as an agent to transmit the same. <laughs> that beginning from tonight, whosoever you declare upon, as far as longevity is concerned, may heaven back it up. <laughs> For in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen.